We are counting our chips. But Tanner doesn't do it every day. He just twice a week. And he can't put your own cup anyway. You were too busy to visit for an Pedro. But of course she won't. Oh, okay. Poor little Lord, let me know. She has someone on the table. She has learned that besides we all have to work on our own problem. Oh! You got my finger! Oh, how are you okay? Why don't you use your brain and get your finger out of the way? What is the main main of straw? Well, I didn't think you were going to the instead of the well. The man is in pain, Corey, have a heart. Oh, oh, it feels like my joints are rusted. Say, what's the matter, Dorothy? You can't be upset about my finger. Oh, Hank, what am I going to do about this couch? The woman from Farm to the West? She's scared to, to have the day today. She ain't even made it to her room. That bitch of a neighbor, she ain't coming here, is she, Dorothy? For goodness sake, she can't hurt you, Zig. Have some courage. I'm afraid she will take Toro. That poor sore face of mate has no heart left. Don't worry, Dorothy. We will put our eyes together on this and use our brains. It's not just paint that can't. You gotta use your heart, kid. Oh, here she comes now. And your courage, you little crew, will try to bully you. There you are, Marquette Little Label. Where's your uncle? Brace heart courage! Ah, uh, Mr. Gim. Afternoon, Miss Gulch. I need to see your wife right away. He's about 30. Dorothy, what she's done? I will tell you what she's done. I can write one from the bite of my leg. Dorothy beat you? No, that's very good from hers. You beat Toto? No, Toto beat her. Is that so? Uh, Henry and I will make sure Dorothy was not near your cookie again, Miss Gulch. Hmm, that comes the next to our community. No, he isn't! Toto was just scared! I'm taking him to the sheriff right now. That dog needs to be put away. Oh no, I want you to take him! Give it to me, give it to me! That's it, I will be back to sheriff's garden. And until then, you better keep that girl on her car so I have a little dog too. Uncle Harry, will Toto take Toto, will you? I will do what I can do. That skull, she walks in the front of the west, I can leave the kids sometimes. No, but no, you got time to talk about neighbors that way. We have to be like something for dirty. Howdy, ma'am. My name is Professor Azim, and I am at Technological Waters. I'm passing through on my way to the state fair. Oh, my, the state fair! What a fine farm you have here, and any fine farm is a. He's my fine invention, the hydroxyl 4000 irrigation system. Allow me to demonstrate. Well, I think this goes here, and uh, this should be right there. This is the couple more seconds for a lot of the fog. What a clever idea! The irrigation system, you said? Yes, take apart, amazingly fast. Guaranteed to help you any power. Oh, what an awesome being that time when we throw the trip Well, there it goes. Stay pay coming. Hope to see you there, kid. Dorothy, you run along now and find yourself someplace to go over and want to be putting your head and be in more great ideas or get yourself into more trouble. Some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there's such a place at all? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by boat or train. It's far, far away. Over the moon. Over the rain. The rain?
Oh, I get scared. I'll show you, Sue. That's better. Show me properly. I'm going to go from Kansas. I'm scared from, from Wallace Cornfield. How do you do? I have never met a talking scarecrow before. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm stuck on this pole that's very uncomfortable. Oh my, you don't have to get down. Oh, be careful when your sides don't fall out. Hey, Squid, why didn't the scarecrow cross the road? Because he didn't have the guts. <laughs> Good one, bitch. Just a minute, spell away. Boo, did I scare you? Of course not. That's the problem. I'm a scarecrow. I don't even know how to scare. If I only had a brain, I would... I would... What could you do, Scarecrow? Hey, I could. I could while away the hours, confirm them with the flowers, consult them with the rain. In my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Oh, I can tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not be just a nothing. My head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Should I stay here or go to Oz? It's hard to know what to do. What's this old teacher about the brain? He ain't got a brain? Yeah, he might pull up his old stroke, get his scratch like a pull muscle, but he ain't got none. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I should do, Dorothy? Let's go, let's go get your brain, Scarecrow, and be back home. So we're off to see the wizard? Oh, this sounds like a very bad idea. Yes, we are off to see the wizard. No, we don't need to be going to see the wizard. Just stay here with us. We have more jokes. Why does the scarecrow need to be? You got me? He's already stuck. <laughs> or should I get you two? Now, scarecrow, which way do we go? To all Come on! We are off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear the insolitable winds and never the winds of the wilds. If ever a wind of the 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 Metal, and yet I'm torn apart. 
Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind and human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. So, will you come to the LSD with us and ask the visit to give you a heart? Why? I don't know. That's a long, dangerous journey. And time to rain along the way. I'll keep you with Ken Henley. To us. To us. You didn't forget about me, did you? I haven't forget about, forgotten about you. And I haven't forgotten about those ruby slippers either. Have been the li little lady along. Are you my friend, gentlemen? Well, stay away from her. Or I will feel you full of bees. And scarecrow. And I will play a little fireball. How scarecrow? But I don't know. As for you and that pesky dog of yours, I will see to it that you never get told. I will get you, my little Freddy. Maybe we shouldn't go to us after all. But I need to go home, and I need to get your brain. Well, if you think so. And I need to get your heart. Well, if you feel so. Oh, you're both the two best as anybody ever had. And it's funny, but I feel as a partner my whole life. But I couldn't have, could I? To see the wizard? To see the wizard of Oz. <laughs>
these are puppies. What's that fragrance? Smells <coughs> really sleepy. Come on, Dorothy, this is no place to stop. I can't go on anymore. I'm so sleepy. I have to rest just for a minute. It's terrible. It must be some kind of spell. It must be the Wicked Witch. What we will do? Help! Call the word. No one will help you this time. I'm after all the Wicked Witch. And those shoes are mine now, my little pretty. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. Poor Dorothy. And now the lion is falling asleep too.
I'm the great wizard of Oz. Come forward. I did. I will wait outside. Who are you? If you please, I'm Dorothy and I've come to ask you. Simon! The great and powerful Oz knows why I have come. Stand forward. Tina. Yes, that's me. There you come to me for a heart. Just because you run away from 
danger does not mean you have no courage. So, for your bravery against the wicked witch, I award you the triple cross. Oh, shucks! And as for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart. Hearts will never be practical until they are made breakable. But I still want one! Oh, yes. Now remember, a heart is not judged by how much you love, but how much you are loved by others. Oh, it takes... Listen, it takes... Hey, what about Dorothy? Well, I think there's anything in that pet that can help me. Why, Dorothy? You have the power to return home all along. I have? It's true, Dorothy. You have always had the power to come back to Kansas. Then, why didn't you tell her earlier? Because she wouldn't have believed me. She had to learn it for herself. Lord, what had you learned, Dorothy? I think, I think that if I were not looking my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my backyard. Because everything else, everything is right there. Is that right? That's all it is. Now that you have found it for yourself, those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Oh there, this is so wonderful to be true. It's so hard to say goodbye. Don't cry to me. You are stuck. Goodbye, Lonnie. I'm going to just waste the whole of breath before you find my courage. I think you will be the most of all. I'm ready. Okay, close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself, there is no place like home. 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 How does she do it? She has got quite a big bump on her head. Dorothy, wake up, honey. What do you do? She has got quite a big bump on her head. Dorothy, wake up, honey. Is that you? I must have 